Hello guys, I'm Grosseller, and today we have the Perona decklist from OP6, right? It's a really interesting leader because you have the ability to choose between two abilities to perform every turn, right? It's a bicolor, green and black, so you're gonna have a really solid combo cast from those colors, right? 5k leader as most leaders right now. And then the activate main once per turn, you can choose from the following. You rest up to one of your opponent's canates with a cost of four or less, which in my opinion, it's broken. Every turn you have the ability to rest one character of four or less for free. That's insane. Like the ability to have that, you can control the table so well that it's just insane. And you have a lot of cards that are gonna help you like uh, KO characters or just that you can get rid of blockers that way that is amazing and then the other one if you feel that you don't really need to use that in that turn or whatever you have uh, the minus one cost to one of the opponent's characters right I feel like you are not gonna use that unless the math really needs that because the first ability it's it's just stupidly good like it's really really good if we start with four copies of X Drake. That just synergizes so well with this leader. The leader is gonna rest one, four or less card, and then this is gonna KO it on play. So for five is a 6k on play. You KO one of your opponent's rested characters with a cost of four or less. So you're gonna be able to KO always a card with that combo of leader and discard. And you're gonna have a really decent attacker on the table. So, four copies of this. Okay, four copies of Don Quixote do Flamingo Super Rare. Now, this card, it's so annoying. Like, you played this, right? You need the, your 10 dons, that's gonna be your play for the turn. But the on play is really good. Like, a total up of, uh, of up to three of your opponent's rested characters or leaders. Do not become active during your opponent's next refresh phase, right? So if your opponent like hits you with a lot of characters, you just play this, and then you choose uh, the leader, another two cards, and then your opponent probably cannot do anything on the next turn. So you're like having this there at 10k on the table, hitting with your other cards, and then the next turn your uh, rival probably cannot do on anything. Probably attack with one or two cards if they had a lot in the table, right? But you're gonna buy time to play other cards and you're gonna have a 10k on the table, right? You're gonna stop three attacks with this, which is gonna be insane. Okay, four copies of Don Quixote Rocinante, two cost, a thousand, it's a blocker, which has a really cool effect because on the opponent's turn, if one of your all the rested characters would be KO'd, you may instead trash this. So if you have attacked, let's say, with X Drake or even the 10 cost of Flamingo, right? And they are gonna kill it by attacking it, you can then instead choose to uh, choose to KO this card. But more than battling, because you can block, it's if they KO them by effects, right? You can choose this card to take the effect. So that's really solid because you're blocking effects and attacks with this blocker. Okay, four copies of Baby 5, that's gonna be your searcher for the Don Quixote Pirates cards, right? For one, uh, activate main, you pay one on another uh, Don, then you rest the character, you look the top five cards, take one Don Quixote Pirates, and then remaining bottom deck. Okay, four copies of Ryuma, that's gonna work uh, really well because it does the same as X Drake, right? And it costs one less done. And that's gonna do that on play and on KO. So you're always gonna, you're always gonna have the choice to KO something that's rested, right? For four, a 6K on play and on KO, you KO one rested character for less. Absolutely insane. Then you can recover this card with Moria, which is gonna be even more insane, right? Okay, four copies of Tsuru, 2k counter, you can look for it with brand new, which we do have in this deck, and then on, you can do the minus two cost, right, to help you maybe with um, the rested characters, right, 
that you can kill with your other cards and stuff, right? If you want to use that. Four copies of Borsalino Blocker from OP2. Again, this card is just so good, right? And you can recover it with Moria, which makes it even more broken. For four, it's essentially a 6k blocker that cannot be KO'd by effects, right? If you want to attack with it, it's going to be a 5k. Bad defending is going to be a 6k and it's immune to KO by effects, so they have to remove it uh, either by you blocking a higher attack than that or they just have to remove it uh, with other ways. Okay, four copies of Bergo from OP3. This is an interesting card because it's a 2k counter that you can search with brand new, right? And then if it has one done, this character cannot be KO'd by battle. So if you add this to the Sabo effects and other effects, like this card cannot be killed in that turn or whatever, and then it's a really solid attacker, right? If not, you're always gonna have the 2k counter. So being a Navy and Don Quixote Pirates card, you're gonna have both searchers. You are always gonna be able to pick this card, whatever the case, right? You are gonna not gonna fail any of the searches if this card comes up. So you know, at the very least, this card is gonna help you so that you don't fail searches, right? And it's really good. Chucky uh, counter and you can play it. Everything is it's just a solid card. Okay, four brand news, obviously, because you're gonna be able to search from so so you can search for navy cards, so you can search for the Vergos, you can search for the Borsalinos, for the Tsurus, and then for the Ice Edge, Ice Age Heaven card that you, that we have in this deck. Right. And um, it's also gonna help you trash cards so that you can recover them with Moria, etc. etc. it just combos really well with this deck. So we have this searcher too. Okay, four copies of Sabo for OP4. Again, another really broken card, like all black decks are going to have like Sabo and Borsalino because unfortunately they are too good, right, to replace them. For 5, a 6k blocker on play, your characters cannot be KO'd by card effects until the start of your next turn. Again, if you combo this with Bergo, Bergo is unkillable unless they place the card at the bottom deck or to your hand, right? And then you draw two cards, you trust two cards. Always good with any deck that's gonna have Gecko Moria in it. And we have four copies of Gecko Moria, right? Another super broken card. For eight, it's an 8k. On play, you choose one cost or less and two or less uh, character card from your trash. One of them, you play them normally and the other rested. Again, you can do so many combos. You can play the Ryuma cards, right? And then, I don't know, you can play the baby five searcher the brand new searcher uh I, I don't know like so many you have so many options okay we have whoever wins this war becomes justice this is a searchable card it's gonna be a zero cost 3k counter trashing what comes from your hand so it's gonna be solid the trigger you rest an opponent's character cost four or less so it's also good so two copies of this card because it's good you can get rid of cards that can otherwise break your hand right and then four copies of ice age a staple of any black deck right now because for one you're just gonna have uh, give a minus five cost to one character and if you combine that with perona you use this first and then perona and you rest one nine cost or less character that turn for one done which is absolutely stupid so this card like really required for this deck because it can make for some really solid uh, control okay yeah this deck is really good i want to see how it performs because it has some fun uh, playability with the donkey shot cards and with the nastiness of the gecko moria combos from the trash like, this can become really really good anyways guys thank you for watching subscribe to the channel if you like the content Give the video a like and click one of the videos that you are seeing on screen. I'll be seeing you guys next video.